What's going on everybody? This is Paul Newell, your health and well-being guide. Coming to you from the wellness neighborhood, giving you the truth on how to really take care of yourself mentally, physically, emotionally. Finding your power, your power, authenticity, and love. Today I'm coming to you with the card reading for September. Yeah, I know, it's the 11th, but you know what? Me and planning, who knows? So I got the roomy deck again. Roomy card deck. It's a lot of goodness here. I'm going to shuffle the deck. We're going to find out what card it is for the month. Some things and tools and tricks, ritual that we get to have for the month. Hmm. Sacred Soul Sister. Sacred Soul Sister. Hmm. Looking at this card, I see a lot of faces, angelic faces. Um, it seems like a, a intense and passionate place. Um, like there's a, uh, mm, like something overseeing. I just see a lot of faces in this. Um, some darkness, some joy, some passion. Um, and, and fire. So let's uh, let's read what this is all about. Thirty-seven. When you are conscious, a cloud of sadness surrounds you. When you are beyond consciousness, the moon rests in your arms. When you are conscious, the beloved moves out of your reach. When you are beyond consciousness, the ecstasy of love moves your way. When you are conscious, you are depressed like fall. When you are beyond consciousness, the winter cold feels like spring. All your wavering is due to your longing to be stable. Look for instability until you become stable. Wow, damn. Whew. This card is about the soul sister that is our partner in consciousness. Make no mistake, she is us. She's the just part of, of us, so great that we cannot always see her from our conscious mind. So some of the things that come from this to tap into her wisdom, to distill a teaching from the fragmented memory of a dream or a subtle feeling experienced in meditation, requires that we walk with her gait and not the fast-paced, forward-moving canter of our conscious and intellectual mind. Uh, her gait is meandering and apparently unstudy, unstudied. So to commune with her, wise as um, that impulse is, requires that we learn the ways of her world and the strange symbolic language she speaks. So um, she has come to us through this oracle to remind us that everything is all right and that she has our back. No matter what appearances may, be, may seem to be more limited, dog's eye consciousness is the light of day. She's guiding us with her wider knowledge through circumstances and situations that are ultimately giving, are ultimately going to free us into greater love than we could have ever known. Hot damn, man. So relevant in my life right now. Thank you, Rumi Cards. I love you so much. Uh, her will is our wholeness, her completion, or our completion. She will, uh, her will must manifest and shall because her will is nature. It is growth. It is God. She is God in us now. This oracle comes with a complete guidance also. Um, you know something deep in our bones. Without knowing how or why or without particular reason, you just know. It doesn't make sense, but you know. It may be joy that you know. It may be that you know that you uh, know to avoid a certain situation. But it may be that something is going to work out beautifully. Despite appearances to the contrary or a particular moment. And maybe that you are meant to, to take a certain path. You just know. This oracle is coming to us with a confirmation that our knowing, mysterious as it is, is our soul sister talking to us. Trust it, act it, and trust it and act or not accordingly. Holy shucks. That junk is powerful, man. Damn. So listen, this is what the this is what the honoring ritual is, and then we're gonna wrap this up. Um, so throughout, throughout the rest of the month, if you want to come back to this, you're more than welcome to. And because this is letting us know, no matter what the circumstances that are coming up, we're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. All right. Hey, sister soul, sister gold, sister soul, sister. 
Yeah, so here's a ritual, and then we out of here. I call upon the sacred sister of my soul. And actually, before, as you get this set up here, rest your hands on the ground or on your legs. Say out loud, I call upon the sacred sister of my soul, the shadow priestess of wisdom in the temple of love. You guide me to love, and under the merciful grace and protection of Rumi, who loves me unconditionally, our relationship is one of respect, care, and divine guidance. May I be blessed with receptivity to your genius and capacity for the grace of growth. So be it. Holy mackerel. It just doesn't get better than this, man. Rumi card deck. Sacred soul sister. Letting us know. We walk with her gate and that all is well. All will be all right. And it's going to turn out be more beautifully than we could probably ever imagine. So take that with you for the month of September. Thanks for tuning in to On This Neighborhood. Your space for the truth in ways that you can take care of yourself mentally, emotionally, and physically. So until next time, everybody, take care.